Murder at the Breakfast Table, a short story by Dan Reynolds. When the toaster is orange, you have a broken elbow. I walked five miles into the ocean and found something. I picked it up to examine it, but alas, I dropped it and couldn't find it. The stuffing trees has always fascinated me. Ever since I was a tot, I had gravy on my sleeve. My parents fused as they sat on the lampshade. I watched, confused and somewhat baffled. They told me guardian cyborgs had prepared my breakfast. As they got off the lampshade, the chair laughed at my belt. Orange peel stove into the spoon. The spoons rebounded, propelled into the sky, floated through the ceiling, and landed in a blood bath my sister used to soak her ears with. I sell that bath water afterwards. Some say my sister is beautiful. Me? I say she's climbing two ladders and her cigar is smoking itself. Keep in touch with your love for Velcro, my pillowcase said as the bath overflowed. Now blood is everywhere. Tomorrow I become Maharaja. I have to assume many new responsibilities. Take, for instance, evolving the doors into bulletproof monkey wrenches. This I have never attempted. It will soon be my daily routine, much like feeding cat feces to the entire church choir. Once again, I have many new responsibilities. Once again, I have many new responsibilities. Once again, I have many new responsibilities. Once again, catfish in your chargers is a ticklish potpourri of rhinestones. Have a nice day. My day is a bowl of oatmeal. Happy thoughts run through my head as I run to the beach stick. I climb this to get some ridges for my clone. My clone then rebels and picks up some spirits at the sleigh. I hear crying. My clone hears it too. She lets out a whimper and scampers away. Now, I'm alone. I walk backwards on my hands. The crying becomes louder, louder, louder. I move faster, my heart beating as fast as a turtle with no skin and fingernails so long and curl over. I know now who's crying. It's the intangible meatloaf in the dark, stormy corner of the sonar. I console this meatloaf. He directs me to my feet. To live alone and peace painfully, with my evaporating peanut brittle and my fucked up head containing only mucus, blood, my crazy mind, and various other car parts. This won't change unless you will be with me. Then my world spins the other way, and we'll fly to planet Beepsorp, where everything is a full tray of hairy ice. The end.